Welcome to the latest episode of 305 Vox Popular here in the Stu Dio at St. Thomas University. And with us today, we have Dennis Rodriguez, one of the partners at Prestige Builders. How are you doing, Dennis? Everything good. Thank you for the invite. Thank you for having me. Pleasure to be here with you. We appreciate you coming on. So a little bit of history on on Dennis. Um, he's one of those folks that's leading uh, an incredible visionary that's leading the push to add uh, more amenities, more entertainment for young people in Northwest State. And you're talking about somebody who's led uh, the Amelia district, right, from not only the redevelopment of older warehouses, but now having somebody called Amelia Yards, bringing in an incredible restaurant, Romanita, the black box, right? And awesome. everything else that they're doing in their portfolio. So one thing I wanted to, to, to kick this off with, um, Dennis, was when did you realize that going from a, a regular developer, right? A developer's focus on building apartments, homes, making money, creating cash flow. But when did you say, hey, we need to do something more? We need to revolutionize uh, the game, especially in Hialeah, and start adding entertainment. Start adding those amenities for people that live in our buildings that they're able to walk down, enjoy some food, enjoy a great time. When did that shift happen? Well, you have to remember that as to, to form a community, you have to have every component of it. My partners and I, we've always been and are continuing a garden approach. We, we build the same product over and over. And we've done so in an area that's so concentrated that we've been able to create a community out of it. What What's the missing component? Well, you just said retail, a little bit of retail, a restaurant, some a music event, anything that can make an amenity to the community that lives there. So um, at, once we established and once we built everything that, that we had there, the Amelia District and a table, we, it was very easy. We just looked around on the table and said, hey guys, what are we missing from this? A restaurant, let's bring in a restaurant. Why would we bring in a restaurant that there are 10, 15 down the block? So what do we say? Let's bring something new. Let's, let's elevate this and let's bring to Hialeah our hometown. Let's bring something that the, the community can be proud of, that the community can take ownership in. So all of our tenants, not only now can they just walk down and have a drink at La Romanita, like you said, but on a Sunday they can come down and have a, a beer at a, watching the game at the yards. And the yards concept was a very cool one because the yards was uh, derived from the, our apartments. They're just that, apartments with a small balcony. And none of no, no one there has a backyard. So what, what did we, we said? We sat down and we said, let's give these guys a backyard. The community deserves a backyard. And that's how the name came about. That's how we were able to say, this special spot here is gonna be not only a venue for the community and for the Amelia district, but it's gonna be your backyard. Come down, have a beer, come down, have a hot dog, come down, have a slice of pizza, bring the kids, or come out to a comedy club at night when, whenever that comes along. And, uh, and, and that approach makes it extremely familiar in the sense that you don't, you're, you're getting, my, my wife said it the best this morning, you're getting dressed to go out, but you're really not going out. You're, you're coming out to your backyard. So it, uh, it works out and it's, it's, it's a cool spot. So for folks that don't know where this area is, it's in Hialeah on Red Road. So right now, if you go to Red Road in Hialeah and you're coming off the Granny, you're coming off the Palmetto on the north side and you're traveling south on 57th, on the left hand side, you're going to see a humongous mural in honor of Amelia Earhart. Uh, with her plane uh, there and it looks amazing so i know uh, you chose the amelia name because it's connected the apartments are connected to amelia Earhart park which is one of the largest uh parks in in northwest Dade. um but not only to honor amelia Earhart, what you did with the yards if and talking about now when i say this name everybody's gonna know where it's at El Valsang. Valsang in Hialeah <laughs> was a staple in, in our community, right? It still is. It still, still is. is. It still, still is. So as we know, the economy's changed. You know, more folks are ordering stuff online. Right now, if you drive there, Valsang has a very small uh, footprint. But the rest of that turned into something called Amelia Yards, where Dennis and his partners got a blank canvas, got a warehouse, gutted the warehouse, fixed it up. And now they're working with small retailers to bring in entertainment from comedy clubs to cigar lounge, cigar lounge to a lot of cool stuff. But what they've also done is that they've given 
uh, these small retailers an opportunity that otherwise they wouldn't have. So if you're a small retailer in Hialeah and you can't afford a brick, a brick and mortar spot at a regular shopping center, now you can go to Dennis and work something out and say, hey, let me try my concept. So not only are you providing a great space uh, for the people that live in your apartments to come down, enjoy, have fun. Um, but those retailers that otherwise wouldn't have that opportunity. Can you share with us some of those stories? Because I'm sure it's super powerful when somebody's like, man, I don't have too much money. This is what I want to do. I, I heard the story about the pizza, the pizza one, the how many tickets they do on a nightly basis. Yeah, um, it, a, but a lot of these guys are getting uh, moved out of their original spots. And of course, they're, they're, the rents are going through the roof for them. So we, um, you know, my partner Marty and Alex, we sat down at the table and we said, hey man, you know, let's, let's get, a lot of these guys are getting kicked out. Let's give them a place. We have plenty of boxes. We have plenty of space here. It creates a community. So what better than let's create it together. And so what we've done is in one of our other concepts, the black box, which we call it, and it's the Amelia Live Art. Um, what we're doing there is giving, giving a space for the art, the arts and, the, and, and, and music is heavily needed in Hialeah heavily needed there are so many talented artists that are out and about and they're coming from place to place they don't have a home that they can call hey this is my studio this is where i'm gonna reside out of so the latest concept that we're working on now is uh, small studios extremely small but artists can come in and either share space almost think of it as a we work for the artist community and they can come in, they can put, they can share a wall, they can share a space, or they can take an entire studio and they can operate out of there while at the same time being able to walk over to the yards and enjoying that venue and having a, a drink at the restaurant or just creating that walkability within the Amelia district is something that we always had it, even when we were building the gardens at the very beginning, it's always been parked there. It just manifested itself now because we've created the community already. So it's perfect for it now. So, but but I think what's really what's really powerful is not only creating that amenity for your business for everybody else, but you're giving people opportunity to grow their business that otherwise they wouldn't have. Can you share with us maybe one of the stories that you gave somebody? Now they're they're there at Amelia Yards and it's changed the trajectory of their business because now they're getting incredible exposure. Because I, that's to me that's incredibly powerful not only from the retail standpoint from now hearing the artistic standpoint, imagine how expensive it is for some of those artists to go on their own, because it's tough, man, until you hit and, and you don't find somebody that loves your art and wants to buy it. I mean, you're painting there, you're being super creative, but you gotta make money and it's tough to have a studio. So the opportunity aspect, again, yes, from the amenity, from the business aspect is, is amazing, but I think the opportunity aspect is really powerful and i think the, the, opp the opportunity is is definitely there and we are creating it um I'll, I'll give you a specific example uh one of our tenants uh we won't put out any names one of our tenants is not only our tenant but they are one of our food trucks one of our food truck vendors and it's the first time he's done it and he's been very successful and he's grown with us as we grow the food truck concept at the yards so to see something like that take place where something it's created from scratch and now it's quickly becoming a success for that person for that tenant that gives us a tremendous amount of pride yeah and our our area has never really been known for the arts but i think and i and i want you to help us pronounce it correctly because i hear it all the time our basil our basil or you know how do you, how do you say it the right way before i get into that our basil no basil let's let's take out right. let's keep the basil you guys heard that no way. basil no basil does not there's exist there's no basil but um but, but this was fun that was honestly that, that was probably the first uh crazy idea we had uh last year um we 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 all got together and we and my partners man they're, they're, they're the greatest they, they just went along with it you know i got off the bike crazy idea I said hey guys why don't we you know we have the warehouse it's empty we haven't we haven't finished what we're gonna do there yet let's let's um let's bring a, an art party to Hialeah for our Basel and they, they looked at me like yeah are you sure you want to do that are you gonna take that on and I said ah, let's do it together come on let's let's get this done and man we had a great time what a great time all of us there the family we all went we loaded the warehouse up with some cars and some art on the wall brought in a DJ we had a great turnout and that there i think is what gave us all the comfort level to say all right hialeah is ready for something different let's take this to the next level and let's uh let's kind of bring in this component and and make this a complement 
to what we're already doing. That's a big deal. That was the first Art Basel, right? There you go. Event you go. ever in Hialeah. I right. believe so. I mean, yes, I, 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 I'm pretty sure that uh, that's the biggest and, and, and nicest art show that we've had for our Basel in um, at least for sure in that area. Definitely. That's no, that's that's huge because a lot of folks don't realize that Florida has 411 cities for between 411 and 414 cities. Highly is, a, I think, the fourth largest, it's fourth fifth or fifth yeah. largest cities in, 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 in Florida. So I'm, making that shift is awesome man and create what i think it's really cool is that nobody told you you guys created this from scratch and i think there's a great lesson um for everybody that's going to be watching right having that risk-taking capability understanding hey this, this might not work you know maybe it does maybe it does. but now that it's hit to continue building upon that is is really powerful it's a synergy that you create with the colleagues right with the people around you with with the group that you have working with you and without that it doesn't happen so we we've been able to create this not only on the on the hospitality side but on the construction side and on our on our operational side it, it, we have a family we we you know we function together and we we do everything step by step together we plan it and we you know we execute so i think that is a uh, probably the biggest uh, point in how successful we have been at what we've been doing so from from building uh, and, and joint venturing on one of the most uh, successful in, in the last couple of years, restaurants in Hialeah, Romanita. Thank you. So then doing a million yards, right? And, uh, and giving that opportunity, which you just shared. One of your tenants said, hey, I want to do a food truck. And now they're doing amazing. Giving all those retailers in Hialeah that opportunity to sell. I know you have ice cream trucks, this, that, I mean, cigar shop. You have one of the beer brands. And then doing a WeWork space for local artists what's next man because i'm 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 pumped i mean what's what's coming up next what's the bet the the next big thing that, that you guys are working on well we are a fan of let's finish what we have before we move on to the next there's still a lot of work going on there's still uh things that we're changing and things that we're moving around especially with the yards uh the restaurant is doing great it is amazing um it we, you know with the restaurant we wanted to build a place that we can all go to why go elsewhere if we can build something that we would also enjoy and go to and honestly it's, it's almost become as a second office if not the first office it's true all of our meetings all of our that, that's just where we congregate and uh it's been fun it's been a fun uh fun ride it's been it's going to be a year now uh, our anniversary is coming up from the from the restaurant and and it's been a cool it's a very cool ride it's been it's been uh it's been great uh the next one we don't know yet um there's definitely uh, some things brewing but um but salvation army man uh, you know, yeah, that, that's all right. All right that's we're that, holding that's off coming. On that. That's coming. Right. That's coming, and it's coming in a very interesting way. Good. Um, it, it'll be very good for the community. Good. I think it's going to make uh, a lot of people happy, and it's going to let uh, that American dream. It, it's going to get. It's going to get some uh, traction. Good. Good. And good. you guys will hear about that very soon. We'll, we'll get back on that and and uh, explain on what what's going on there. Uh, we're, it'll be fun, but we are definitely building there some uh, some nice townhomes. And you have a name for that already. Uh, Amelia Town Center. Amelia, Amelia Town, Town Center. Center. It'll be uh, townhomes. It'll be mixed. There'll be retail on there as well. It's a 5,000 square foot retail center with apartments on top. Uh, it'll have 12 lofts on the top and then 100 townhomes, two bedroom townhomes that are going to be gated community. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, so D, something that we do that's a little different in a lot of podcasts you got some questions. I know our our, uh, our dean there has some questions. Students have some questions. Everybody here has some uh, some different stuff for you. I actually do have a question. As as a, as a resident from Hialeah, and I think it's beautiful that you're building this because it's true. I mean, outside of Flanagan's, what else do we go? You know what I mean? Like at sure. east or west, right? Like that. Growing up, that was a thing. And then Miami Lake Sale House came up, and then that became two options, right? Uh, however. Uh, you're stating that it's becoming the backyard, you know, so, uh, a place where you don't have to go far if you live in Hialeah, because it's true. We do we do find ourselves in other places. W what is the effort, or is there an effort to make this Amelia District cool enough, amazing enough, marketable enough, where not only is it our backyard and we stay in our backyard, where people want to come over to our backyard? There is definitely an effort on that. We're working with different the, the city of Hialeah itself, 
Um, we're working with FDOT to beautify that street, get some lights going, get some accents going. We're, we're doing this on a daily basis to do just that. It's not only the backyard for the folks that live around, but it also opens up the doors for different artists that want to do an event and they want to come by. For example, just uh, last month we had Mario, who was on your show. Yep. Uh, Shout he, out to Mario Ramil. Absolutely. Uh, we, we, uh, Giancarlos, who's our hospitality partner, he partnered up with him and they did a LOL at the Yards. That was an amazing show. It was a comedy club and it, it got jam-packed and everybody went over there. They had a great time. These were people that were coming from all over the place, Doral, Miami, and they're now coming in and they're and they're and it's easy to get to it. and and, and it's friendly enough where you're coming in and you just again going to our backyard, going to our backyard party. So it, it makes sense and we are working every day to making it a global uh, within the within the South Florida destination of hey, you guys can come over and have a good time, whether it be a party at night or food trucks during the weekends or a market which we're doing every Sunday or come over to La Romanita and enjoy a nice uh, bottle of wine. And that's something that we take pride on and, and, and I think we're, we're doing a good job at, at getting it out there and making sure that we are a staple there in the Amelia district. How do you see that? How do you see that Amelia district turning out between let's say 10 years from now? Like what, what's the vision for that? Vision for Amelia district is uh, walkable folks walking down from their apartment coming down going to a brewery having a beer uh coming down to la romanita having having a bite um just art shows on the street art events on the weekends music live music uh you can walk from this event and you're listening to a, a live performance and then you can go to another venue and, and get get together with your friends and watch a, and watch a game then you can meet for dinner at, at La Romanita or at whatever other restaurant comes along and enjoy a nice dinner. So a place where the community can get together and enjoy the different venues that it offers. Live, work, and play, right? So you gave that example. Right? Yeah, absolutely. So as a real estate developer, obviously, you know, that business, you get into it to, to, for the capital gain, you know. However, would you say that this investment out of all of them is, is, is more emotionally driven for you? No, I know. I mean, we're we're extremely passionate about our real estate and how we do it. Um, we can go on for hours on just the, the, the concept on how we stick to the formula that works. We, we've been doing it for years and it is what works. We know the market. My partners were bo both both of them born and raised. And now our third partners also born and raised in Hialeah. It's a it's a connection that's unique. Um, a lot of our tenants are also local, highly born and raised, which all which gives us just another another dimension of 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 energy in that district that keeps it all together. And for me to say that it's more more emotionally I'm attached to the no no I, the real estate carries the same emotion to be able to buy a piece of land or a dilapidated warehouse and turn that which was an eyesore in the city turn that into a multifamily complex apartment building that now feeds a community and now becomes a community that to me is special and to us to our to our to our team it's extremely special and then to see that develop into people are having fun there as well it just you know it, it, it's the ultimate it's the ultimate high you guys got anything else coming this way what's the what's the best piece of advice that you could give someone who wants to do something similar to you to what you're doing in Hialeah but in their neighborhood where they're not getting as much attention team man get the right team put the right team together and 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 trust the trust the process trust the process trust your partners trust your team and, and and give it your best and if you have the vision for it don't stop just keep going there's going to be a lot of there are going to be a lot of folks that that say no maybe not here no this is not going to work if you believe in it it'll work it'll get done got it you guys got anything else Appreciate those questions. Good job. So, D, we turn it around to you. Any questions you got for for me or for Lou or for the students? You got some? Let, let me hear Art Basel again. Art Basel. Not, yeah. not Art Basel. There we you go. Just, you get, you, that's how do, it, that's how do you pronounce it correctly? Yeah, but I, you, did, you, you just did it. You Art, just did it. Art, Art Basel. 
There you go. That's okay. It. You got it. Got it. We're good. You got it. You're good to go. <laughs> You're good to go. Good. Um, question for you, man. What got you into this? Man, so we we started in, in City Hall with a with a cell phone. And, and the thing was for us to be able to tell the stories that nobody else tells, right? The inspiring stories like yours, right? A lot of times when when uh, in the newspaper, in the news, we live in a 24-7 news cycle, right? So people are constantly competing with each other for the next controversy or the next bad thing, whatever sells, right? And I think a lot of the cool stories of people's motivation, their whys, never gets told. So when we got together, we said, you know, let's start telling those stories. You know, let, let's create those relationships. Let's tell those stories. Let's make folks comfortable where they can open up and maybe inspire a lot of people along the way. You know, once we the kids are hearing it, students are hearing it, and you never know who's going to listen uh, to these podcasts and be inspired. The other day I had a random guy came up to me. He was like, man, I listen to every single episode. You know, keep it. You guys are doing a great job. And I was like blown away by it. I was like, I don't even know. Never met this guy. You know, so that was it that to be able to tell uh story is that anything else you guys yeah i think from a from from the educational standpoint it's really cool uh to have our our crew of 18 to 21 year olds to see people in positions like yours and the others uh, other guests and to humanize the whole process you know i think um especially for somebody like myself and ourselves i guess this whole entire uh process here we you know highly a rut kid uh you you kind of look at someone who's doing well as unapproachable and incapable of being there. And I think uh, it's awesome to have these students uh, hear these stories, be inspired by these stories, but use their, their background in communication arts and make an episode, a show out of this. So now they got a badge off that as well. And what's what the beautiful thing that's brewing out of this is that a lot of these guests that are coming on um, naturally are offering internships to the students in, in, in their in their aspects of, uh, of entertainment and uh, media content. And I think it's just a, uh, it's kind of like how your, 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 your business module, you know, it's a gift that keeps on giving. It's um, you give one person opportunity and then someone else catches on to that. The success of your restaurant gives people jobs. The success of those jobs makes ha a, a families happy. Sure. Those families are happy. They go out to eat and they're going right back to the same place. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So I, I, I think it's I think it's as beautiful as as that process that's uh, taking place. And obviously having somebody like Manny uh, drive it, and he's a former student of mine, and I put him at Matter Lakes now to run the show over there. Again, it's just a, the show that keeps. I mean, sorry, the the process is, keeps on giving. I think it's a it's a beautiful thing to have. Everything start with uh, humble guests like yourselves coming in here and and uh, speaking from the heart and the truth and yeah, let's go out there and make some money, but let's make a change too, you know. Amazing, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank spot you. on, spot on. You got anything else for us or? Good. Good. So D, you know, being a a Miami kid, a lot of folks don't know this. Dennis played basketball. He went to South Miami High. Played basketball. You know who was on his team? Pitbull. Uh, him and Pitbull played by high school basketball together. So being that kid, and think about right to date, there's another Dennis Rodriguez at South Miami High playing basketball. What advice or words of motivation would you tell that kid for that future Dennis Rodriguez that, that's going to be, that might be inspired by hearing your story and, and following your footsteps? What are those words in closing? Some words of motivation, inspiration to sure. that future you. Keep the focus on, man. Keep the focus. Uh, find what drives you. Find what makes you passionate about what you're going to do, be it art, be it law, be it medicine, be it whatever it is. Stick to the plan. Stay focused. Doesn't mean you can't alter the plan one way or another, but stick to your common drive. Don't, don't change it because somebody needs you to change it. Don't change it because... Uh, you think it's going to be wrong stick to it stay to the stick to the plan stay focused keep uh keep negativity out of the way keep all toxic items out of the way the most you can keep out of the way the better it is stay positive surround yourself by positive people and people that are going to help you excel not people that are going to keep you tied up and uh, that's that I, I mean if you do that i think i think you're you're in good shape i think you're in good shape and there you have it, Dennis Rodriguez, 
a visionary who's changing the game in Hialeah. Tune in next Wednesday on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.